It's probably one of the best festivals I've been to. Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Whiskey Whims with me, Stuart. Today, something uh, a little different. We're not reviewing anything. We're just going to talk about the Fife Whiskey Festival. So a big smile on my face, had a great time, uh, really enjoyed the weekend and the reason I'm doing this video is because I've been getting a lot of questions regarding which my f what was my favourite whisky I tried, uh, how I enjoyed it and all that, so I thought why not just do a little video uh, because people seem to be interested. So to start with I'll just go through kind of how the day started. We went, we got lunch, um, the group of us met up, we got some lunch. Uh, we're in Luvian's for a bit, looked about there, I had to get a sample bottle from Luvian's because uh, I was meeting up with Jason who does Glen Vore, he does Dram Face, he used to do malt, he's, he's a great guy and uh, I had a bottle of Glen Vore with me to open with the guys and I forgot to bring a sample bottle, I am terrible for things like that so I asked Luvian's for a wee sample bottle so I could open it up, uh, the Glen Vore and pour in a little sample for Jason to take back. <coughs> because I know how much he likes Glen Vore. So that's how the day started, we had lunch, um, Stevie and I, we went back to our digs, the guys went back to their digs and then we all met up at the uh, festival basically. Uh, Stevie and I, I said I wasn't going to go to the shop first, I didn't want to ruin my uh, experience with, with being disappointed at the shop or um, having to think about the shop, having to carry stuff around. But all those good intentions went straight out the window and I was like, I need to get to the shop. So I kind of, yeah, rushed to the shop. So I'll show you what I've got from the shop. Uh, I was lucky enough to get the uh, Daft Mill. Uh, it was a scratch card ballot system, for those of you not aware. The, the, you were either going to win the uh, Lindor's Festival Bottle or the Daft Mill Festival Bottle. You, no one got both. Uh, it was just one or the other and it was a scratch card system. Complete luck. Uh, and I'm so <laughs> grateful that I managed to get one. So I obviously picked it up. Uh, I wasn't going to waste that opportunity. There were two options for purchasing the Daft Mill. One was £140 RRP uh, or £170 if you didn't want the bottle defaced. So this is all to kind of deter flipping, uh, to make people open them, to make people appreciate the hard work and effort that's went into producing the whiskey so that ultimately you drink the whiskey as that's what it's there for. So you could pay that extra £30 uh, so that it didn't get flipped and I believe all that extra money went to charity. Well, yeah, it did. The, the extra money went to charity and I even think £10 of the normal RRP went to charity. I could be wrong, um, but I'm sure ten, I'm sure this £130 and then £10 went to, or maybe £135 and £5 went to charity, something like that. I'm sure some of the um, defaced bottle did go to charity. So... The festival in Francis ended up raising 5,000 for uh, oh no, Age Scotland possibly or something like that. Some charity, I'm terrible, I shouldn't really be doing this. I'll put a link down to the charity below anyway. But yeah, they, they raised money for a charity and all good causes and great things. So I want a bottle of that, over the moon. Uh, the next things that I wanted was, um, I hadn't tried it yet but I really wanted the port and I did get it. Um, I believe this was £60 maybe possibly, I'm trying to think how much, it. I can't remember the prices roughly because I just basically threw my card at Luvian's uh, pretty bad, but yeah, uh, no defacing with this, this is extremely flippable as well supposedly, there's a lot of people going for this, it sold out quite quick, uh, well it's been selling out quick everywhere and it's mental because it's just an 8 year old Kilkerran, uh, it's nothing nothing grandeur, it's nothing special but it seems like it's well sought after. So yeah, I was looking for this one because I've not had um, Kilkerran in port, I've had the sherry ones, I'm not really bothered that I've missed out on the sherry because I've, I've tried two examples of Kilkerran and sherry, they're good but I prefer bourbon. Um, so yeah, I wanted the, the, uh, the, the port because I've not tried it and I wanted to test it and see what it'd be like. Did try it at the uh, festival, I really enjoyed the sample, but maybe that was just because I'd bought a bottle. But I really enjoyed the port sample. It was a little like a, a little calpol, uh, like almost cough medicine, but a nice cough medicine if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, I, I tried a sample of that, and I tried a sample of the sherry. 
didn't enjoy the sherry as much, but the majority of people that I was discussing with at the festival and the people that I attended the festival with, they all preferred the sherry. Uh, so it might just be something to do with my palate, uh, or I might just be wrong. <laughs> the sherry might have been better. But yeah, I preferred the port, uh, and yeah, that's all I tried at Kilcarran. I only tried the Kilcarran port and the sherry. Um, I'd already had the 12 and I've got the 16 so I thought there was no point in really trying that and I didn't want to waste my palate and get absolutely steaming uh, even though I did get a little bit drunk but not too drunk. So that was another one I picked up at the shop and the final thing I picked up at the shop was the uh, local barley. The box is a little bit, yeah it's, it's ripped the box is, yeah I'm not flipping this, <laughs> no chance. Um, I'm just trying to check that snot didn't come out my, my nose there, I've had a little bit of a uh, a runny nose and just as a laugh there I think snot might have came out anyway uh, yeah so <laughs> Springbank local barley I think this was about £60 uh, I'm just wiping my nose now £60, £70-ish uh, there's 15,000 bottles which is quite a lot uh, and once again sought after uh, and extremely flippable and desirable and blah de blah de blah it's a 10 year old uh, I'm pretty sure it's just bourbon I remember speaking and I'm sure it was just bourbon which I'm really excited for uh, I could be wrong it might be a mixture of things like one of the other ones but I'm sure this is just bourbon anywho uh, I'm looking forward to trying this because I quite like just stripped back uh, local barley getting the local barley flavour the Oloroso last one last year was good but the uh, sherry kind of masked the, the spring bank and the local barley a little bit too much for me but anyway yeah I got this bottle Ended up trying this at the festival too, and yeah, it did, it did blow me away actually. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I really enjoyed this. Uh, obviously, we're all merry at this point and enjoying ourselves, so you're getting caught up in the, the theme of it, getting caught up. Uh, but we'll do a full review and make sure it is actually uh, awesome. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it will be. The the taste I remember, what did I have at the Springbank? Um, the Springbank... Oh my god, podium, <laughs> Springbank panel. Uh, I had the 15 year old, which was, yeah, the, the, the new Springbank 15 year old was superb. Uh, I'm usually, a, I usually prefer the 10 over the 15 I have in previous batches, but the 15 was, yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> the 15 was really nice. The local barley was cracking. Uh, I really enjoyed that. I'm trying to think what else they had there. They had the 10 year old, the 10 year old was okay. But my highlights from the Springbank um, panel were definitely the uh, the 15 and this. So yeah, that was good. So that's what I purchased. I thought I'd get that out of the way. I think overall that came to £270 or something. It's a lot of money for three, yeah, three whiskies, three desirable whiskies, three hopefully... Um, I've already had the Daft Mill. Uh, I actually didn't try that at the festival. So yeah, it was quite weird. I bought this first. Uh, obviously wanting it, obviously want to open it, get myself a bottle, experience the full bottle. But when we got to the festival, there was a 15, Daft Mill 15, there was the Facebook bottle in um, that I got offered a dram of and didn't really take up. Uh, <laughs> but there was the Facebook bottle, the Daft Mill 15, which is a new one, hopefully releasing August at that time, possibly uh, after August. And there were a couple single casks from different markets. So I had the Germany single cask, uh, which I thoroughly enjoyed, and the 15 uh, Daft Mill, which was probably the one of the highlights of the festival. I was trying to do this in some sort of order, but it's just all coming out at once. So the 15 Daft Mill, uh, so Stevie, interestingly enough, and he was right, he found it really drying at the end and it was a little drying but not off-putting for me but he it kind of threw him off a little bit and he wasn't too sure about the 15 uh, but for me it was just from start to finish the nose uh, Daft Mill noses are always the uh, dominant uh, aspect of the whiskey the most uh, influential part of the whiskey for me is the the nose on Daft Mill I think it's a, one of the best noses you'll ever smell um, for whiskies in general it's just the really good noses for some reason the palette on the 15, lovely as well, and the finish was just cracking. Everything about the 15 was, yeah, I really enjoyed it, if you can't tell. Uh, so I went back for that twice. Um, I actually went up to the stall and said to uh, Francis and his wife, I said, um, <laughs> can I get another of the 15, pretending I had a moustache, uh, because I really enjoyed it. But luckily, yeah, we got another pour of the 15, and 
yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to forget that anytime soon. But I had this last night. Um, it's strong, 58.6% ABV. I put a lot of water on it in it last night. Uh, so I didn't try it at the festival. But yeah, I tried it last night and had a lot of water. And yes, yeah, it's, it's great. Um, it's it's going to be a good whiskey, I think. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to... It's very spirit driven. Uh, it's quite yeah strong with the spirit. But... With that water, it opens up, it develops it, and it is, it is cracking. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of good flavours in there, and I can't wait to review it. Uh, I think the label on the back's wrong. Someone's pointed this out, uh, saying 2019 to 2022, uh, which makes it under three year old. But yeah, it's it's it is whiskey. It is proper whiskey. Um, it's just a misprint, so that'll probably make it even more flippable, more desirable. But as you can tell, it's already open, um, and it's yeah, it's been defaced. Yeah, good stuff. So, the Daft Mill 15 was a highlight. Uh, we went to, I'm going to butcher this name, is it Inch, Inch, Inch Dar, Inch, Inch Darney? Inch, Inch, Inch Darney or whatever, the Lowland, uh, it's a new Lowland distillery. Uh, I try to think, I'm terrible with names. Anyway, I'll put a picture up to, to get the proper name because I'm terrible, I can't even remember the name. Inch Darney or Inch I, I don't know how you say it, but it's, it's a Lowland whiskey. Anyway, I'll put a picture up to, to get the proper name because I'm terrible. I can't even remember the name. Inch Darney or Inch Dar I, I don't know how you say it, but it's, it's a Lowland whiskey. Uh, their experience was quite good. So they didn't have a panel. They had a um, almost like an office cubicle of black walls that was blacked out and you couldn't see around it. It had like a, a little entrance to the side and it was in the corner. Um, and it was more of an experience. Um, it brought out four or five different new make uh, bottles. Uh, one was like oats, what, from made from oats, one was wheat, one was barley. Um, can't remember what the other one was, but there was, there was all different types, all different styles of kind of whiskey or um, spirit if you like. And yeah, we went through this experience, we got to try it. It was all watered down quite low uh, so that it didn't absolutely destroy us. Uh, and yeah, we went through this experience and that was really intriguing and quite ingrained in my memories for being one of the more uh, different, more unique styles and approach to a festival. So I really enjoyed that uh, and I'm quite excited to see what this distillery has to offer. Uh, so that was really cool. I'm trying to think, Cameron Bridge. There was a fantastic Cameron Bridge by James Eady, which is bottled for the Luvian's uh, Luvian shop, not the festival, just for the shop. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm kind of wanting a bottle of that. I'm sure it was Madeira, uh, Madeira finish, uh, 24 year old. I'll put another picture up, <laughs> I will get a picture. 24 year old uh, Madeira finished Cameron Bridge, so a grain. Absolutely fantastic, lovely flavours. Uh, yeah, just such a good whiskey and one of the highlights. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I had. I actually didn't go around many stalls, uh, many panels, which is quite disappointing. Uh, I managed to get a few, but for some reason I just got caught up in speaking to people, uh, meeting people, and because we hadn't had this interaction for so long, as soon as I kind of met someone and they were explaining who they were or I was explaining who I was, it was just I was talking to people for ages instead of actually drinking whiskey. Uh, so I missed a lot of panels, like I heard Kilcoman was really good, I missed them, completely missed them, but I did go to Loch Lomond, uh, they were interesting, I went to Glen Scotia, obviously the same parent company, Glen Scotia had some good interesting drams as well, uh, some tasting packs of a 25 year old, which was quite cool to go away with, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it, I don't want to make this video too long and go on about it too much, but my highlights were probably meeting uh, people that I hadn't met before, putting faces, names to faces, uh, that, was, that was a great thing to do. Uh, also being with the, the group of people that we went with, it was good to have uh, some time with them, spend some time with them, great bunch of guys. Obviously the whiskies I got, I'm very grateful that I managed to pick up uh, the three whiskies that I did and how lucky I am to afford them and be able to pick them up and open them without worrying too much. Uh, a highlight would be the, the charity, how much they raise for charity, five grand's a lot of money, that's so much money and it obviously helps with these great causes. Um, and yeah, just the, like I said, the highlights being the kind of Kilkerran cool Port, I really enjoyed that, the Springbank Local Barley and the 15 and the Daft Mill 15 and the Cayman Bridge, 
uh, or Cameron Bridge, however you say it. So they, they're probably my five highlight whiskies from the festival that I can remember trying. Um, and also the water was quite good. Yeah, they had they had water pumps. The water was good. <laughs> so yeah, thanks to um, the 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 founders of the festival. Uh, thanks a lot for everybody involved. I thought it was brilliant. Uh, Louvain's done a great job with the the shop. Uh, I need to give them a mention. They 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 done yeah they were they were great. Uh, and hopefully everybody had a great time like I did. So before I blather on anymore, that's basically it. Uh, I hope that will give you a little insight into what the festival was like. And I do suggest that actually I forgot to say this. It's probably one of the best festivals I've been to. I've been to a few, and a lot of them are kind of similar. But for some reason, I don't know if it was just because of the people I was with, the people I met, um, the bottles there, the 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 exhibitors there, or whoever. But yeah, one of the best uh, festival experiences I've had. So thanks a lot. I've been Stuart. This has been Whiskey Wins. I'll see you there. Oh, 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 oh